Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Sunday the 3rd of uh, July 2022. Look at yesterday's uh, results, which we had a, uh, a race of interest uh, on uh, Saturday the 2nd then, which was Nottingham um, on the flat at 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we were looking at this uh, two in that race. We were looking at this uh, number two, Dream Harder, which came second at 17 to 2. And uh, we also quite like this, um, uh, where is it, number five, Superstars, which came fourth at 3 to 1. And the eventual winner was this, uh, uh, where is it, um, Miss Harmony, number four at uh, 7 to 2. Uh, this uh, this one that came second, Dream Harder, uh, lost a shoe in its previous race and we said uh, it was very difficult to assess exactly correctly and the race sort of was, was marginal. So we gave it a miss, so uh, we didn't get involved, uh, so we dodged that one. So uh, anyway, the, the account is static at uh, plus 59.72 units in profit, so that's where we are with that. So we'll leave it there and write up today's racing. Right, we're back. We've written up today's racing then, so for Sunday the 3rd, uh, of July. No filter one which is our structural filter, no ratio filter but we do have an alternate and this is an air on the flat at 252. It's a handicap class for 3 or plus 0 to 85 1 mile 2 furlongs good. Uh, you've got a weight for age uh, for 3 year olds onwards uh, 10 pounds. There's only one 3 year old in the field which is this uh, number 3 uh, Noble Anthem. Right, uh, what do we know about air at 10 furlongs? Well it's modelled at 92 uh, and that's uh, basically the equivalent of Wolverhampton and Kempton at 10 over the, on the all-weather. Um, Dundalk and Lingfield are a fair bit quicker uh, at 10, 94. Uh, Chelmsford is 90, fair bit slower. And Newcastle's slightly slower, just under uh, no, no, 91. So that, that's the context of uh, the speed pace profile of the race. Right, so... Uh, there's uh, originally six in, we've got number five as a non-runner, so there's five to uh, have a go at. Uh, and how do how does it pan out? Well, this um, the likely favourite is this, uh, uh, and the current favourite is this number three, Noble Anthem. And what do we know about Noble Anthem? Well, it's, uh, it's the only three-year-old, uh, so it's, uh, it's getting this £10 weight for age. Um, and it's... Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, it basically started off in Newmarket in, in the Wood Ditton, which is for unraced uh, three-year-olds. That's normally a decent race, um, and uh, you know the the winners batting about 99, 100 on that, um, and that was over eight furlongs. It then went to Thirsk in the novice uh, novice stakes, um, eight furlongs, uh, uh, and that that uh, race. Uh, uh, basically, it was at, it was it was just off the pace, and it closed. It's a bit of a closer, uh, and the final race, Newcastle ten furlongs, another novice stakes. Um, the winner of that race uh, uh, is rated 109 and went on to win the Queen's Vars, which uh, Royal Ascot, which is a which is a one mile six, one mile and three quarters, so a little bit further. So uh, that puts it into context. So so this um, this noble anthem sort of been mixing it in in uh, in sub pattern uh, races. Uh, and and uh, and and uh, it's sort of been mixing with some decent horses. And what do we know about the horse? Well, it's a big rangy horse, uh, but it's quite one paced. But it's got this three-year-old factor. It's likely to have a little bit of um, uh, physical development, uh, and uh, and and it's got a bit of class about it because it's been uh, sort of mixing it in those circles. So uh, so what we've done is we put 0.2625 uh, of a unit on, and we've used this as our sort of break-even hedge but it's not going to be quite a break-even hedge we're, we're going to end up losing uh, a little bit on that we're going to end up losing about uh, 0.1875 uh, if that one comes in uh, because of the odds are slightly screwed off I'm also going to bet slightly more aggressively on the one we're going to mention in a minute so uh, what else do we know now number one arch moon uh, where are we arch moon um, it's uh, it, it's been running in in weak races. Uh, it lacks scope, and uh, and it's pretty uh, pretty uh, sort of mediocre that horse. So we're going to give that the chop. Number one. Um, what else have we got then? We got this Carrigilly or whatever however you say it. Number four. Um, number four. Uh, it's quite one paced. It's had a lot of easy trips, uh, and 
it's been running in sort of mediocre to reasonable races, so we can give that one the chop as well. And this uh, Royal Regent number six uh, is a is a ten year old, likes a bit of soft ground, and it's not really up to the job in this uh, in these circumstances, so we can give that the chop. So we're left with this number two, glasses up. Now, uh, glasses up. Uh, the last race was at eighteen to the six at Air, uh, which is the same course, but it was over one mile five, which is. Uh, three furlongs further. Uh, it's a 22k race and um, it's uh, it was a 78.96. That's the handicap range, which is significantly uh, superior. And it was the bottom weight. So it was, uh, and if you get a horse that can compete at the bottom weight in a much higher uh, grade, um, then uh, then you, you, you're looking at something reasonable normally. Um, and the trip that horse, if you watch that race, so that was the 18th to the 6th, uh, last race for this, uh, was the air and it was um where are we uh one mile five furlongs uh have a look at that race if you get the chance on glasses up uh it basically wide uh significantly wide three wide right the way around the turns and it was competitive at the 10 furlong marker and it's uh, it looks a nice horse uh, uh and so that's a big tick on that one so so glasses up we've, we've sort of semi filled our boots on that one and we've got 0.4375 of a unit uh, uh i mean the, the, these figures are quite exact for us because we we wanted to have exposure of 0.7 on this race so uh anyway that's that's where we are so 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 uh, we're using this uh, this three-year-old, which has got a touch of class about it, but it's a little bit one-paced um, uh, as as a near break-even hedge. We won't quite break even if that one comes in, but we're prepared to take the risk because we've boosted the stake into this number two uh, glasses up, uh, and we've got an average of what do we get? An average of um, uh, five point six to one. So so five. So we've got basically uh, we've got eleven to two. Uh, on this uh, glasses up so that that's the one we're really rooting for uh we expect if that doesn't win we expect this uh, noble anthem to come in and as the others we don't think much of so, uh, so that's where we are um if you subscribe thanks very much and uh, any new subscribers welcome uh and we'll, uh, we'll review this tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll get results so uh see you tomorrow and goodbye